Hi everyone, today we're going to clarify a few points regarding adjusting status in the United States. Now, for the most part, people that were admitted legally into the country and they remain in lawful status are the ones that could adjust status, meaning the ones that could apply for a green card. However, there are a few exceptions to this rule. One of the exceptions is if you are admitted legally into the country and perhaps you marry a U.S. citizen. It doesn't matter the time that you remain in the country unlawfully, so long as you marry a U.S. citizen in good faith and you enter the country legally, then you'll be eligible to apply for a green card. Also, if you apply for asylum and this petition was granted, then regardless of the fact that perhaps you came without inspection or that you remain unlawfully in the country, you can still obtain a green card. But for most other cases, perhaps if a company wants to petition for you or perhaps your U.S. Uh, uh, spouse is actually a legal permanent resident and not a citizen, then you need to have either a lawful entry or if you don't have a lawful entry and remain in lawful status, then you need to consular process. And that is why it is important for you to be able to obtain a travel document if you are planning to go abroad outside of the country. Now, if you have TPS, you might be eligible to re-enter the country legally. And once you do that, then be allowed to apply for adjustment of status. If you have a labor petition, or perhaps your legal permanent resident spouse wants to petition for you, or perhaps you want to self-petition yourself if you are eligible for uh, an extraordinary visa, or extraordinary abilities visa or perhaps an EB2 national interest waiver. So it is important for you to keep that in mind. If you have any questions regarding TPS, travel documents, or any other immigration matter, feel free to give us a call. We're here to assist you. Take care.